Hello, I am Peo Lakanyo Fori and this is City News Daily on City TV. Coming up today, some special voters fear they have been disenfranchised after they could not find their names on the list at the polling stations where they opted to vote. Details of that shortly. So hundreds of military personnel, police officers, EC officials and journalists could not cast their ballot today because their names were not on the special voters list. Over 127,000 security and media personnel as well as EC officials and others who will be busy on election day, that's December 7, were expected to take part in today's exercise. However, City News' checks across the country revealed a few challenges plagued the exercise. A number of registered voters who submitted their names to take part in today's exercise could not find their names in the register. Even though the Electoral Commission insisted that the registered voters could vote at their original constituencies, City News' checks revealed that this wasn't the case in some instances. Have a listen to some of the complaints. It's their civic right of voting. So the first thing they have to vote before special duty comes. Nobody can command anybody on the basis of obey before you complain against fundamental human right. Fundamental human right is a constitutional mandate. So they will vote on the 7th. So nobody can direct them that go and do special duty before you come and vote for them to be disenfranchised. Nobody. But then one comment I would like to make is the late submission of the final register for the special voting yesterday is in bad taste. For instance, we are supposed to hold a meeting with the district director yesterday and it was there around 3 p.m. that we realized that the list has been updated. And the update, in my case, the update is exceeds 200. 97.3 City FM. Relevant radio. Always. So today, the Electoral Commission met with all presidential candidates in this year's polls to get them to sign a peace accord just a few days to the elections. Uh, well, the closed-door meeting was under the auspices of the National Peace Council and attended by the Diplomatic Corps in Ghana. It was held at the Mevin Peak Ambassador Hotel in Accra. The candidates signed a peace accord as a sign of their commitment to accept the result of the polls on December 7. So President John Dramani Mahama says the fight against corruption is a complex one that cannot be achieved by the president alone. Well, a research conducted by think tank Kimani Ghana shows that Ghana loses $3 billion every year due to corruption. But speaking at the GBC NCCA presidential debate yesterday, the president decried the bureaucracy in the court as a factor impeding the prosecution of perpetrators, saying that a concerted effort is required to deal with the Kanka. Now, former boss of the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation, Chachu Chikata, has lauded the Court of Appeals judgment overturning his criminal sentencing in 2008. According to him, the judgment in his favor will guarantee the enforcement of the rights of citizens. Well, he says the outcome represents victory for Ghana's democracy. Mr. Chikata was sentenced to five years in prison in June 2008 for causing financial loss to the state. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy and fashion. Call us 1243 331 Evening and weekend classes are also available. And that's how we end today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Pearl Lacanio Furi. Thanks for your time.